Hello, and welcome to Dolphin's Dive, the weekly strategically minded Handelabra stream hosted by Lou Dolphin. Handelabra believes in civil rights for everyone and in being as inclusive as possible, so any comments or activity actively working against those goals are not welcome and will not be tolerated. You can follow us at Handelabra Games on Twitch and Handelabra on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. You can follow me personally at LewDolphin21 on Twitter, and on Twitch and YouTube, it's LewDolphin No Digits. LewDolphin21 on YouTube. <laughs> And on Twitch and YouTube, it's Lou Dolphin No Digits. No, Twitch and Twitter. No, wait, Lou Dolphin Twenty One Twitter. Yes. No, I was right the first time. Sorry, I'm second guessing. Don't don't mind me. I'm only just Lou Dolphin Twenty One on Twitter. I think Lou Dolphin has been taken, which is why I can't claim it. But whatever. Uh, Sentinels: The Multiverse, Bottom of the Ninth, One Deck Dungeon, and Aeon's End are available on Steam, iOS, and Android devices. And Spirit Island is available on Steam and will be available on Android and iOS tablets later in the year. And you can find more information on those games at handelabra.com. Hello, Seamus, hello, John. You have a black hoodie on too? Uh, my heater broke, well, not my, okay. My personal space heater broke, my heater's fine. <laughs> I just realized how terrible that sounds. Uh, my, the heater for the house works. The problem is that my parents generally keep the house a lot cooler than I like it. And I'm also living in the, in the semi-basement, so it's a lot cooler down here and my personal space heater has broken. So I am a bit more bundled up than normal. I have my hoodie on and I have a blanket underneath. <laughs> uh, but that's why I'm a bit more bundled up. I'd be, I don't know. I try not to wear like hoodies and stuff in the class, but this is not a class, it's stream, who cares? All right, so uh, few weapons are not going to save me. He is power incarnate. More power just means more reliance on that power. I'll always find a target. The ultimate target. Wrong hero. Yeah, I hit random. Let's just see what we get. We got boar. I think that's what John had, if I recall. Was it what John had? I think it was what John had. Hello, remote error. Yes, it was very random. <laughs> very random indeed. I just hit random and go. I was uh, scrambling to get some school stuff done before the stream. So I... Uh, I didn't have much time to prepare. I just hit random and go. See, like... Um, another letdown. He prepares a lot of stories for his streams. Or at least he used to. I don't know if he still does. I haven't kept tabs on him, but I know when he first started, he said like, Oh yeah, I've been spending all day preparing my story for this week's episode. And I'm like, I'm just going to uh, play games. <laughs> but it worked pretty well. All right, yeah, so John's talking about the, the shield flip. At the end of Oblivion's turn, move Oblivion to the other battle zone. Each target there deals itself to infernal damage. If four hero targets are dealt damage, this way flip this card. And we are all being forcibly moved to the other battle zone. Um, and which means he's going to then move to that battle zone. We're going to hit ourselves, and this is going to flip. Oops. All right, cool. So this is going to be an interesting game. We're going to get to phase two. Or whatever you call this. We're gonna get to stage two. Uh, that stage. We're gonna probably get there accidentally. <laughs> uh, I'm not very keen on rushing to stage two, because I need to get some time to get set up with objectives and stuff. So I honestly have no idea how this is going to go. All right, well, things are happening. What we have here, we have Ruins of Atlantis, and we have Court of Blood. I probably won't have a choice in the matter. Yep. Speed run. Oblivion speed run. Let's go. If we want to prevent getting to stage two as long as we can, we're going to have to move to the other battle zone. 
Um, that said, Expatriate is in a okay condition to just take... Like, with Nature's Compulsion, I can move to the other battle zone at the end of my turn. And it provides a plus one. What are the other environments we have going on here? Uh, does it say, where does it say? Celestial Tribunal, Moranian Refuge, and Mobile Defense Platform. That's what we have in store for us today. And Dark Mind does things whenever here ongoing cards are revealed or destroyed. At the end of the villain turn, these does things to a hero deck. So if we move out of that battle zone, that's okay. Boar, well, Boar likes to blow up and increases damage based on tokens, adds tokens, flips, and deals damage based on tokens. Ooh, hello, Absolute Zero. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're set up. <laughs> if we could make you last four turns. And Setback could be friendly fired, I guess. And Haka has Tamoko. Cool. Hmm. Alright, well, let's stay here, take this objective. It's okay if I lose it. This gives us a target to hit that's not boar. This does make Absolute Zero's base power kind of problematic, though. But Bloodstone is nice. Let's assault rifle and hit things. Um, This one doesn't do much if it gets destroyed, so I'm not going to bother with it. I could take it out, but it just provides hit point recovery. Which is fine. And I will compulse myself to the other battle zone. So he's not moving battle zones from here anymore, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, you got to move also hermetic not hermetic 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 hmm you deal fire damage could we take out hermetic don't really have that much damage going on uh, how many hit points is that again 11 so that's like zero from here, potentially five from here, two plus two from here. It could conceivably be flipped or might potentially hit it if we don't get any other rewards. Just wondering whether I should do Thermal Shockwave or Isothermic Transducer. I think Isothermic... Thermal Shockwave will just do like, hit, hit, her, hit Hermetic for one, hit Absolute Zero for one. Whereas Isothermic hits Absolute Zero for one and then would hit <laughs> Hermetic for one. It's a win-win! And now we got the Enraged Terror Bird. That's another target we want to hit someday. Not going to use my base power. It could combo really well with four, but this would hurt a lot. Especially because it's self-damage. Yeah, it's self-damage. So that would have been five damage if I used my base power. You're, you're going to move. You're going to take the Enraged Terror Bird. And you're going to like it. Oh, good. Meager winnings. Excellent. Excellent. Um, I'll get friendly fire. Something to destroy someday. Also, this combos well with Enraged Terror Bird because we can discard something. Probably not Fumbling Fool. 
Not with this version of setback. I can redirect it to someone and now be minus two'd. Take on the objective. We might as well rush Hermetic because we don't know if we'll get another turn. Sure. Tom, or not, not Tom Oko, Tayaha, yes. Each player may discard a card, any player who discarded may draw a card. Sure, I can reload those. Glacial structure is lackluster. Kind of want to keep the cards that add tokens. Hockey of Shielding's a bit slow. It does draw cards, but that's fine. Hollow points, modular realignment, and mare. Last wager has not been done yet. Drudge Fico. Elemental Pandemonium. Okay. Nice. Excellent target with a plus one. I like this. I like this a lot. I can at least do something with the Colt with the fire damage. Yay! Nah, we're taking a lot of damage this turn. So zero is not likely to survive. Oh, it's only just one damage. Okay. We can hit Hermetic. Her Hermetic. Hermetic. And now with Hermetic, we can survive. <laughs> Increased damage, HP recovery. Cool. I'm not in that battle zone. No damage was dealt this way, so Dark Mind moves to this battle zone. Or has not encapped anyone. No damage was dealt this way. But also look at that. We got we got we got we got the Mecha Knight. Got the Mecha Knight. Cards are being destroyed. That does damage, which doesn't matter. This provides hit points, which doesn't really matter. It only heals Aeon Locus. Aeon Locus plays a card. I guess there was a card play here. That could have moved up Blue Aeon, but he didn't. All right, so. The Mecha Knights. Unfortunately, we're not really in a good position to get it. Unless I swap this. Like, Absolute Zero is most inclined to take the objective, but well, I guess he could survive. He would survive this, right? Bloodstone overwhelms Incap. Actually, it could be fine to take take on the Mecha Knight, and we're gonna have everyone in the same battle zone for a while. And he's pretty safe, so I guess that's fine. Uh, Oblivion is... in... Oh yeah, he doesn't move battle zones anymore. Okay. So I could move Expatriate to battle zone 2 briefly to get a token on this, and then move her back to battle zone 1. Um, I don't want to swap, I don't want to shuffle. And I don't have anything to hit other than Oblivion, and that serves no purpose. There's no Aeon Men, there's no Scions. I could put Hollow Points out, but I think it's better to skip, skip, and draw two. Unload! And Prejudice! Alright. And by the way, we're not moving battle zones, so actually I can't get Mecha Knight right away. For some reason, I thought I had to move everyone to battle zone two. 
But I think it's because I'm conflating that with Oblivion's other side. Okay. We'll take the Thermal Shockwave, because we can not really use it to its maximum effect. Hello, Hoey. Uh, do I actually want cold damage instead? Maybe that's what I want. Isothermic null point thermal should work well. I could go crazy here. Oh, this is going to be really good on Absolute Zero, by the way. <laughs> oh, it's going to be really good. It doesn't do fire or cold, though. I guess he doesn't want to hit himself for five, 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 and five. Also, we have this ongoing card that I can't really do anything with. So that's going to be fun. All right, I'm gonna discard that. And we're going to discard all these cards. Except I can't because of Dark Mind. No! Dark Mind! Why? All right. Uh, well, that does do something for me. And I can't discard anymore because uh, Dark Mind stole the thunder. But I can destroy the ongoing now. Um, I don't think I'm swapping or trading. This is fine, right? Plus one, minus one. Probably want that on a more offensive hero, like Haka. But we don't have two heroes in the battle zone, we're not going to have that for a while. So I think I'm going to shuffle this. We got Omni Unity! Alright, this is danger. There's a lot of things happening here. These are only actually just hitting the highest for two. That could be Haka with Tom Moko, so that would be fine. You're not likely to survive, right? And all of my token needs aren't non-existent. It's only one token anyway. Oh good, a third fumbling fool. Would this be more useful than last wager? I mean, I can get it immediately, right? I think I'm swapping. Last wager's boring. Nation in ruins. Well, that is currently true. I guess we're doing Tomoko for survival. Just gonna hit Enraged Terror Bird. I don't really want to hit the Scions. Ground Pound would have been a nice draw. Ground Pound would have been a nice draw. And again! Again! Dark Mind, you're screwing up all these objectives. It's like the second time I said, oh yeah, I can get this objective turn two, turn one, whatever. 
Dark Mind! All right, well, Dark Mind's flipping, right? Because three objectives under her. Maybe, I don't know. Um. Good, I was not incapped. And then that does what? It didn't move anyone. Okay, cool. What is Dark Mind doing? Dark Mind is stopping me from getting the Mecha Knight, and it's getting me from the Digital Age. Dark Mind! There are four cards you flip this. And its flip side is kind of gruesome, but whatever. Um, Absolute Zero is set up to take this. Five damage. And I'm quite displeased. I don't want to just hit Enraged Terror Bird for one. That's dumb. Okay, I am displeased. And you're going to deal psychic damage for each card discarded this way. So... Any ongoing cards that get revealed, put under this card instead. So who's most likely to draw ongoing cards? Because we're basically just going to take her out. Taking her out means put any cards under this card into play. Sure, we can take all those cards for free, I guess. I don't want Absolute Zero to take 12 damage. Plus he doesn't actually have that many ongoings left. Setback could and that would be a bunch of random ongoings to enter play Haka would be you know more equipped but he doesn't have that many ongoings I guess he has a fair number um an enraged terror bird is at one hit point so I don't want to hit him there's no scion turn in battle zone 2 so we're safe with the objective or with the with the shield like haka would take less damage but we were trying to get it set up for the aeon thralls to hit haka but now they're going to hit absolute zero anyway i guess okay all right taka Savage mana and two Haka cards. Oh, never mind. It just targets the highest. Duh. Okay, well, I guess I was overthinking this. Duh. Read the text of the card, lewd. John's shaking his head. Oh, deal each target damage. We have damaged the Blevion! <laughs> Yeah, it's going to have to be Haka that does the final damage. Which is possible. You can set it up for that to happen. All right. I can get Nature's Compulsion if I move to the second battle zone. Yay! This also lets me take Nations and Ruins. And this would also happen immediately. I will accept this. So next up is create contraption. No one has a free slot because none of our objectives are done yet. Actually, setback should be set up for that. Um, I guess that gives setback a power. <laughs> Alright, well, we have nothing to do here again. We're kind of in this awkward spot where there's nothing to do. Um... Skip, skip! I'll move to the first battle zone, and the nation is in ruins. Works.
double phosphorescent chamber. Oh, that's a fun place to be. I think I'm just gonna go ham on Dark Mind. If we go ham on Dark Mind, we get Ground Pound, and with Ground Pound, we don't care. I'm gonna keep the Mecha Knight. Maybe we'll get it. Thermal Shock Wave. Dark Mind for sure. Enraged Terror Bird to get that flipped. Arataki now protects setback. Now friendly fire is dead. <laughs> friendly fire is not doing anything anymore. Um, each Aeon Man other than this card. Okay, so there are targets for that, so that's fine. Are any of these of a concern? I don't think so. This could also be a good turn if we get Ground Pound to take out Boar. I mean, we also could just take out Boar instead of Dark Mind, because Boar would almost certainly just take out Dark Mind with all the pluses he has. And that would also wipe the field of Aeon Men. But Dark Mind's at 10, Boar's at 23. I don't think we have 23 damage here. But with Ground Pound, I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, so we'll just hit Boar. And actually, actually, if we're still on Phase 1 and we get Boar to a high enough count and we have a uh, Ground Pound, then... Um, then Boar will just get rid of every other Scion. So this is my new objective, is to get Boar to have 20,000 tokens and wipe out all the other Scions. I'm gonna hit this on Dark Mind to ensure we can take Dark Mind out. Well, all right, so decisions matter a little more here because if I make a discard and I discard the wrong card, things go bad. Dominion will be good when the person dies. Who's going to draw an ongoing? Was that setback that's most likely? Let's... All right. We can discard that. Discard that. No! Haka! No! <laughs> Alright, I'll take my focused apertures. Next up is Cold War. Okay. Alright, damage to Dark Mind. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna be enough. If I can get Omni Unity, that would help. Yeah, one and one with three. Oh, right, this is Nemesis, okay. Reduce the next damage dealt to a hero target by two. Dare I do that? I'll do that because I got nothing else to use tokens for right now. I can't get this right now. Um. I could discard focused apertures and modular realignment to get it back. Although if I'm immune to damage, that won't matter. You have a lot of equipments that you could just discard and reload them back. Uh, you gotta keep something to discard for digital age. I think we can have expat discard. Discard the shock rounds, keep the hollow points in play. Oh, you can discard any number. Oh, I thought it was just one. 
So I could get this flipped. I won't be able to use the power right away, but I would have it flipped. We don't have any other discard effects just yet. Except for this. Okay, yeah, so I could discard four here. All those ammos! And the submachine gun, I guess. <laughs> we'll just go greed. Go greed. I guess Absolute Zero could have also discarded focused apertures. And isn't going to have an onboard module for a future turn. But we kind of need to get that ground pound so that... Yeah, we'll just skip the rest. I need to keep this... I could play Dominion right now, but the problem is... I don't have, really have enough cards to fund all of the ground pounds. I think it's Mare. I wanted to play Taiha, but I'm gonna do Mare. If the card I draw here is an ongoing... All right, so... Mare was good. No! Dark Mind! No! Not again! Hold on a second. I could have Doriotia help us, help us, right? So actually... Okay, no. I'm gonna... This is cheating because I have future information, but... Dorotia is going to deal one damage to Dark Mind, so this will ensure I get this without relying on stupid Dark Mind. Stupid Dark Mind. Angry mob. Okay, and and uh, ground pound says non-hero cards cannot deal damage. So actually, if we want to maximize the effect here, hit everything that is not a hero target. Foolish dark mind. All of these are Haka cards except for Impale. <laughs> Alright, discard two. Can't be ground pound. I think we're getting a Savage Mana now. So I think it's Savage Mana Dominion because I gotta keep Mare to potentially get Omni Unity. Why is there two Tomokos? Oh, did you did you steal two of my Tomokos? Um, putting it next to the board would be incredibly risky. I like it. <laughs> it's fine. We'll ground pound on the appropriate turn, maybe. Such delicious despair! Oh no, he's the guy that makes the target deal damage. No! Blood Countess Bathory has entered the game. No targets were, de were destroyed this way. 
And I guess this is setback dealing the damage. Is my guess. Can't do anything about it. Girlfriend, no! There are four Aeon Thralls in play, fun fact. Oh, with Ground Pound, wait. Boar's not going to do damage with Ground Pound, right? The non-environment target with the lowest HP is Oblivion, with 9,996. <laughs> oh, man. It's pretty good. All right, we got to think about who we're going to in-cap. And we got to think about it, like, now. Because it's countdown one. Actually, I can't even think about it now, because we're going to destroy the environment. Because the timing is off. Okay, well, that's just happening. Can't do anything about it. That's what I don't like about the start of villain turn. Uh, ch the shield check there, because that just makes it impossible to not destroy an environment at this stage. Yeah, it says cards, so it's not. it's going to stop four. And I can't move anyone, anyone to the other battle zone to get this flipped because whoever I move there is going to be destroyed by Oblivion. Unless we do Ground Pound. But if I do Ground Pound, that's just going to be really sad. <laughs> it's going to be the saddest Ground Pound of all time. Ground Pound just so Haka can get incapped. So, I guess we're just going to stay here again. So this is now expat's reward or objective, whatever. Now the annoying thing though is just the fact that with Void Soul, this is, this is going to be bloody. And even if you flip, you flip back immediately. If we take out Boar, this just happens. Because Boar destroys all environment cards. Can I take out board? And actually, I can deal myself damage with much of the realignment because ground pound, ground pound does not make us immune to damage. Oh man, I'm just making all sorts of funny mistakes here. Ah, uh, and then 
I actually can't really keep that up. Um, I also can't get Haka to draw a ground or to draw a card to sustain ground pound with. So that's going to be tough. And I can't get create contraption. Cause we're not discarding equipments on uh, on any other turn. Does this it doesn't count? Whenever an equipment card is discarded, does this count Mecha Knight? It better count Mecha Knight. I'll be very sad. I guess I could get enough cards if I draw with Mecha Knight instead of... discard for Mecha Knight. We don't have Dark Mind anymore, so I can successfully not have to worry about stupid things. Yay. Okay. I can't get this in turn to use it, but I can at least get that objective. If this doesn't happen from Mecha Knight, I'll be sad. This can happen if we take out Boar. This better damn well happen. <laughs> Okay. So we do have a plus one here, right? Yeah, so... I think getting shock rounds would actually be really good. That would be two damage to each non-hero target. That is really nice. Oh my god, Expatriate didn't just skip skip. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh yeah, Primordial Boon as well. Okay. Okay. I like what's happening here. Uh, so this is actually three to everyone. Nice. Little did I know that Expatriate's actually the powerhouse of the cell. I really should hit this turn on this, or just this game, TBH. All game, because we're not, <laughs> we're not able to, to not hit, we're not able, to, yeah. Cool. Drudge Fico, no. All right, now this is the second of three. Uh, so Blood Soul, or Void Soul, not Blood Soul. Environments are just going to be destroyed. So take out the Aeon Loci, because they might play cards or get destroyed and play a card. Stay here. Hit Boar. Okay, non-vampire targets cannot regain HP, eh? That's actually a bit tragic. A bit tragic indeed. Stay here. Oh boy. 
That is a nice reward at a expensive up cost. Sounds like setback. <laughs> Sounds like a setback thing. <laughs> uh, we're not swapping your training. We're accepting this. Fours at 10. So I can't can't regain hit points right now. Um like that should just happen, right? This is two damage. I need to deal three to bore. We might also have this power though, and that just makes it trivial. If I could somehow take out Boar before he destroys things, then I would be able to regain hit points. Might not matter though. I don't think I really can. I could do two damage with focused apertures, or I could do two damage with modular re realignment and thermal shockwave. Actually, no, I can double up on this, right? Because, I mean, I won't, no, I won't be able to heal. I think that's the question is can I heal off the fire damage here? I don't think I can. I think it's focused apertures. So what this means is I can do two here, and then three with the second hit, and then Boar's just gone. Oh, I did more damage this turn. So I didn't need to hit Boar then. I could hit someone else. Like Void Soul. We did it! We destroyed all environment cards! I can't heal. Unhallowed Halls is in place, so I can't heal. Empyrean has entered the fray. I'd say there's about a 0% chance that Absolute Zero survives, even with... Well, actually, no, we're not getting ground pound. All right, come on, equipments. All right, that's an equipment. Yeah, Korean Contraption is flipped. <laughs> Look at all these objectives I flipped. All right. I don't know that I can... Well, mm, we'll take it. I guess Haka could hit, hit himself. It is going to do one damage. Void Soul now has a minus two. We'll hit Empyrean. Actually... Well, let's take out Aeon Locus. So I have these two sixes sitting here. Right. Right. Irreducible damage, you said? Uh, this isn't the side that cares about energy. 
So... Okay, so the Aeon Vassals aren't doing anything. Aeon Thrall would do a hit point of damage, but that also doesn't matter. Yeah, so I'm just going to ignore the Aeon Men. All right. So, Setback can't hit himself. Expatriate hits, himself, hits herself too hard. Absolute Zero wants to somehow survive. Hawker can take a hit point. Stay here. Interestingly, I would be able to get this with Enduring Intercession and Savage Mana or Tayaha. Um. It would wipe the board a little more easily. I have a dilemma here. I want to play Mare so I can get cards. If I play Mare, I might not get Digital Age. Um, I think I'm going to risk it. I can't play Ground Pound, so I'm going to play Mare. That's zero. These guys aren't doing that much. Oh, but you're going to hit everything. Right. Probably don't want to do that then, even though this isn't that much damage. So let's instead... Hit that guy. Yeah! Savage mana. Yeah, that's why I wanted to do that, of course. I did not draw an equipment. I did not draw an equipment, so this has to be an equipment for Digital Age. It is! Okay. Okay. Discarded an equipment. So Omni Unity has entered the game. And actually, that. Oh, I guess Void Soul. Oh, Void Soul's gonna be awful. That's gonna be Expatriate. I guess that's not the worst. We could set this up for Void Soul. Oh, but that's gonna hit Absolute Zero. <laughs> oh, Absolute Zero is gonna take himself out. Unless we take out Mare or Tayaha. <laughs> Oh, we could have Haka destroy an equipment card now and put it under Savage Mana. That sounds amusing. Um, yeah, let's sacrifice Mare. There are no vampires. I have to destroy an ongoing card. Oh no! Each hero dealt damage this way destroys cards. Ha! Guess what? None of these are heroes! Alright, and now this is Mare doing the damage. Hunter Philippet is not a bad guy. So I'm just going to hit Mare then. 
Mare was destroyed by Mare. Mare prevented Mare from dealing damage. Oh, the humanity. So now this one is discard a card or destroy one of their non-character cards. Didn't we have something that cared about that? Or is that... I think... Yeah, we have no other reward here. Um... I mean, Absolute Zero is the least likely to survive, right? Although, actually, no damage is happening unless it happens on Oblivion's end. Oh yeah, Friendly Fire's not doing anything. Okay. We're gonna destroy Friendly Fire. Yeah! Oh, so these are three targets. I see how it is. I said these guys weren't doing anything. Bot twist, they were all along. Toxic seaweed. Eighteen damage has been dealt to Oblivion stage one. All right, we're removing an environment. I could just say goodbye to everyone in Battle Zone Two, but I think it's ruins. Marinian Refuge. Let's go. Okay, those are literally the best Aeon men for you to play accidentally. And he ends up in this battle zone and says goodbye to Absolute Zero. Uh, he is also taking all the Aeon men. We're getting devastation tokens, but we have four. We only have four Devastation Tokens! How did that happen? It's because the Scion moved on turn one. Um, is there a reason to choose for me or not? Let's just hit the Aeon Vassals first. Oh yeah, Empyrean could kill one, you're right. Save that Devastation Token. We don't have the Oblivion Shards, we don't care about Devastation Tokens just yet. Bye, Absolute Zero. Bye, Tayaha. Bye, Expatriate. That was quite a deadly turn. 
And we got Sanction. All right, so we do have a candidate for Incap, I guess. We have someone who has Mecha Knight and no other reward. We have someone who has a bunch of damage increase rewards, plus someone that, yeah. I think, I think these are a bit more valuable than Mecha Knight at this point. So whoever we replace Absolute Zero with is the Sacrificial Lamb for Oblivion. And everyone else is going to stay in Battle Zone 1 or 2. Sanction doesn't do that much on this side. And sucks on this side. We do have to make sure whoever stays in this battle zone can survive what happens here, but that's not a tall order. And then there's the chance that Oblivion just changes battle zones and takes out my three other heroes, but... I think we're in decent shape right now. So who can really capitalize from extra powers, right? This one capitalizes off of extra powers. I could just swap expat for expat. I could swap for stuntman. Stuntman loves pluses and powers out of turn. But Cold War is more about Power during your turn, so that's not as nice. Ooh, burst tachyon, burst tachyon, blitz tachyon, rather. Yeah, bloodstone prevents the incap, which should mean that the thing that should happen doesn't actually happen. All right, we're gonna use this combo here. Um, actually, because of Primordial Boon, you could be in a different battle zone. I guess I could decide at the start of my turn. We do have... Oh, we have Fleet of Foot. Ooh. Yeah, you're gonna go to battle zone one, I guess. <laughs> and we're gonna Fleet of Foot to give everyone cards. So this is the Sacrificial Lamb. And because Guys is my least favorite hero, I'm just gonna sacrifice Guys and make everyone so mad. I find Guys the character funny. I find Guys the hero a bit lackluster. I'll be honest with you. He's really exciting when he's set up with perfect combos. It takes like 10 to 15 turns on average to get awesome combos going. In Oblivion, you have like two to three turns at best. <laughs> or on average or whatever. All right, you're moving to battle zone one. We need you to be able to move out. So you're gonna regain Primordial Boon. And you're going to fleet. And it looks like it's gonna be pushing the limits and Primordial Boon. Guys was MVP on Tuesday. You can be happy with that, John. I'll just sit here and play Sacrificial Lamb, guys. Um, that's a burst, yes. I can move it to the bottom of my deck. Do I do a thing with the bottom of a deck right now? Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna leave it there for the moment. Because we gotta save for all the plus ones. Sacrificial lamb, guys. You 
you do not have cards with powers on them ever. Do I want to hope for the dawn, or do I want to search for Oblivion Shard? This isn't going to do that much anymore, because we're not going to get as many Aeon men. Plus, we have heroes that need to get reset, and playing this card doesn't help getting them reset. I think we're going to shuffle. Expedition to Atlantis. All right. Well... It's best card ever, right? Just keep wailing on Void Soul. I could do Guys the Barbarian and then I get a card play and a damage there. But I don't have another real card play here, other than Super Ultra Kawaii. But that only procs when I have more than four cards. Which I might be able to have happen. So I think we're gonna guys. Guys, guys, guys. He's the hero I despise. <laughs> Uh, except I was gonna play, uh, I was going to play Super Ultra Kawaii. Okay, so there's no thing to destroy with Retcon. So I'll just play where did I leave that. Say cheese and selling out. I will accept these contributions to the cause. All right, move to safety. I don't think that's really gonna happen. Not at this point. But I think with Ground Pound and shenanigans, we might be able to get Expedition a little more easily. I'm gonna swap it. Next one is Hellion. All right, I think getting cards to Haka makes sense. Is there another Ground Pound in here? No. No. Maybe it doesn't make sense. Maybe I want to get cards to Tachyon to try to get to another thing that plays many cards and gets bursts in the trash. Oh, Setback regains the two hit points, so it's not even Haka that regains it. Okay. We do also have Chekhov's Hairdryer, and I guess that's probably a better power, isn't it? Okay. Whenever a hero card is discarded. Fumbling Fool! Yeah! Look at those tokens we just got. Guys, guys, guys. do have a selling out. I don't think there's anything I can really sell out for, though.
Why didn't I hit Oblivion with guys? The world may never know. I get this when I discard for ground pound if I discard two right now. Synaptic interruption is super helpful in an oblivion fight. Wanna move! Wanna take you! Take on me, take me on. Yay! And now a new target has entered the fray. I can make Hellion deal damage, except I can't make Hellion deal damage because of ground bound. All right. Say cheese. Hi, Oblivion. Also, Oblivion Shard has entered the fray. Matron Erzy doesn't do much. We got Aeon Men in Battle Zone 1 now. Oh, hi, guys, the Barbarian. How are you doing? That's okay. Sacrificial Lamb, guys, is on the case. I'm gonna destroy a card that no longer matters. I guess it kind of does matter, but you're gonna get incapped, theoretically. Squaw Guard is here to help. He's our friend. And Oblivion has moved to the other battle zone, and our friend Squaw Guard is gone. Ooh, 11 tokens. Me. All right. Oh, and Court of Blood was also removed from the game. Okay. Yeah, that check just happened because guys was incapped and sacrificed. Okay, so we're down to three environments. Uh, Celestial Tribunal is going to be tricky because that could screw up the game. Did he move twice? No. What? No. The reality altered move Oblivion to the other battle zone, but he wasn't in that battle zone, and no other effect moved Oblivion. He moved to battle zone, or stayed in battle zone one. He incapped guys and then proceeded to destroy an environment because there were 12 devastation tokens. Oh, hey. So that does nothing, and then that flips you and you're 15, so. That's hit points, that's damage, that doesn't matter. None of this matters, except I'll hit Aeon Thrall first before I flip something else. Levion moves to the other battle zone. Uh, 
Okay. I guess the other consideration is which hero provides an in cap that I would like, and Tempest is obviously a really good candidate for that. Um, but that's probably fine. We can get a hero that gels well with Mecha Knight. The obvious candidate would be Idealist. Harpy would also be interesting. Increase the numeral by one. Makes Harpy deal two targets damage. Anyone that gets plus ones are really good. Legacy, of course, is really good. Chrono Ranger is really good. Fixer, yes. <laughs> One might say the ideal candidate. <laughs> yeah, Fixer is the duh choice, but we always use Fixer. The other consideration is we have the Oblivion Shard here. So we could combo Oblivion Shard with Mecha Knight. We could also combo Oblivion Shard with Blitz. That would be really sexy. But Tachyon's still in the middle of getting reset up. Benchmark's also a really good candidate, too. Actually, okay, okay. I think Tachyon's the best candidate here because... With Blitz and Oblivion Shard, Cold War is the new fixer, all right? So uh, we're giving that to Tachyon for sure. So Mecha Knight, you're cool and all, but we're going to not have you be the ideal damage dealer here. Um, but we could give someone who could utilize that a chance. So what do we need from this team? We have Ongoing Destruction, although we discarded the card, but we can easily get it back. Maybe someone that can heal people. That's the support we need, but not the support we deserve. Someone who can provide minuses to Oblivion is also a good one. Almost suggests just tier two sentinels. We could even mix and match. Do something like that. I never really mix and match, but we could do that. Still don't have a means of <laughs> giving other people powers. I guess we do, but that's going to um, expire. Writhe. Oh yeah, doesn't Writhe also have a minus one? Let's go with Writhe. So I can't really regain an objective, or re regain a reward, but we're going to take that objective. I 
to keep Tachyon alive. Ooh, Fleet of Foot. I have to discard two of these cards. That is really tragic. Yeah, I'm gonna have to discard Synaptic. <laughs> uh, hopefully we'll get it back. We got Hypersonic. Well, we do have the Oblivion Shard coming up, so we could get Devastation Tokens going. So I could Hypersonic here. Uh, this is gonna do eight damage to Oblivion. And that would deal two. If I put him at 10, I'd have to repeat this for that to work, which I could easily do. Am I in a rush to get this going or can I deal that damage in a different way? Yeah, I think I can just deal the damage. Maybe not straight up though, but I think there's ways of making that work. Also, we have Hellion to contend with. Yeah, we'll do Hypersonic because we don't have another Ground Pound. Those aren't exciting things. I'm not actually sure if we can do... Oh, turn of events. We could easily get that. At which point we might just be able to do enough damage to Oblivion. Oh yeah, this is really good with, you know... Super Tachyon. <laughs> Although I guess it won't help with pushing the limits, but yeah. Um, I'm just gonna hit Hellion. We're gonna need to get Tachyon set up, but when Tachyon's set up, Oblivion's like dead. Hud Goggles is a good draw. Research grants. I will accept that contribution to the cause. Cold War will help with getting that in play. Stay here. Stay here. Um, are we in a rush to get to Mecha Knight? I guess if if, if setback uses turn of events. Actually, with turn like because Rise of Nemesis, right? That would do ten damage. Yeah, we want that this turn. Still don't have the um, Shadow Cloak. Still don't have a means of drawing it. Riot is not Nemesis. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It's the... They're not because they're the same Nemesis as Sentinels, which is the um, Black Hoppy Ton Nemesis. My bad. I was assuming it was Oblivion because it's... Every Oblivion deck is an Oblivion Nemesis. Uh, I could prevent this damage. Yeah! Prevent the first damage dealt to setback. Oh, there's Shadow Cloak. We'll do that. Turn of events. Absolutely, Mecha Knights. Blitz. Actually, never mind. I don't need to do that hit there. Because we have the hair dryer for six there. Uh. Yeah, it's not updating. That's weird. I didn't, like, disconnect or something. Uh, 
It's not showing. It's broken. Chat is dead. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, but we can do what I used to do back in the day. I did this, actually that's gonna play music, isn't it? Oh no, it's muted, perfect. Uh, I could just um, pop this window out. I can go back to regular Twitch chat next time. We don't actually do restream chat. Why don't we? I've just been doing that forever. What, why are you? What are you talking about? I like doing it because I don't have to fiddle with it. Unlike this, where I have to resize things and make it work. Yeah, we had YouTube too at the time, and now we don't. But I just kept it going because it made me not have to worry about getting this set up every single time. Oh, I have that locked, that's why I can't resize that. Oh, that's not what I want that to be. It says I have zero point to lock. Oh, right, because I'm not logged on on Firebox. Firefox, that's why. If I type here, yeah, it wants me to log in. <laughs> If you could if, it, if you could point me to the thing that I could do that I don't have to do window capture and reset this, that'd be nice. That would help out tremendously. I do a thing for my own channel, but I can't do the same thing on this channel because I don't have... Well, I'm not... That's not my account, so I can't do it. But this will work for the time being. Okay, back to the regularly scheduled game. So this is obviously on Oblivion. Chekhov's hairdryer takes out Hellion. So we can do burst on Oblivion. We'll save this for when we have the Oblivion shard. Do this on Oblivion. Damage was prevent prevented. And we just blow up Oblivion. Yay! We're getting two more tokens for this. Yeah, this only needs to be at four. I got looking up, that's a good one. Um my chat just said, <laughs> my chat just said, uh, welcome to the chat room, but not on this chat, but on a different chat. But anyway, so this is four, no, five. That's when there's five. Okay. Uh, sure. Prevent damage, lower damage. That would actually be really nice if that hits Tachyon, but it's not going to. I mean, there's no reason not to. Punish the weak is not a good idea. I think it's Hawk of Restoration. Mechanical Golem. Don't we have a thing that cares about discards? <laughs> Oh, right, we got it with, uh, with Atlantean Conduits. <laughs> okay. I think it's Haka of Battle, because there's other damage sources here, and I gotta keep Haka alive a little bit, sort of, kind of, maybe. I'm just going to ignore Sanction. You can hit Sanction with this. I could hit Seraph with this. You may play a card or use a power. I'll play Mare. 
Oh, but it's a bit too late for Mare to do a thing. But Mare is out now. Yay! I do want to reveal three cards from my deck, please. Fewer than three keywords. A. Eh? The representative has entered the game. That is really dangerous. That is really dangerous. Because <laughs> Empyrean's going to go after it. Can't do anything about it just yet, though. Uh, the only thing that could happen with the representative is a hero in this battle zone could use its power if the right card enters play. Oh, right. One hero may use the power on the hero character card in this play area now, but does that include the representative? It must. Hello, Freedom 5 Legacy. How are you doing? There are no cards. <laughs> well, so much for that plan. <laughs> so this is going swimmingly. Well, I can move Tachyon to the other battle zone. Does she have environment destruction now? I don't think she does. We discarded her environment destruction. No damage was dealt this way. Well. All right, we're down to our last two environments. <laughs> hey, Empyrean's getting destroyed. That's cute. Thank you for rejoining our game. Aeon Master is here. Is this an Oblivion shard turn? Elmo Her Legato is just a plus one, really. I think it's get out Cold War and get the plus ones and just, you know, wipe the board. So stay here. Regain Cold War. Feels like a turn to unleash the burn with Cold War. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, I have to discard a card here. Oh man. I'm going to feel dirty, but I'm discarding Lightspeed Barrage because I actually want to have Research Grant for Cold War. I Cold War can't repeat Blitz, but Cold War can repeat or can use Research Grant. Blood goggles, Cold War, Research Grant. It's happening! It's happening! Ten damage! Summon the Colosseum has happened. Nice. Move a card. Repeat this power. I'm guessing that Cold War goes off after all of this. Yeah, so let's be mindful of that. So this is going to do three, or no, it's two plus eight. Cold War is doing 10 each. So when I move six cards, I kill Aeon Master. And I can't really... I don't know, when I move five cards, I kill Aeon Master because we have Research Grant. And Oblivion's going to move to the other battle zone when he's incapped or destroyed or whatever. So... Um... So what am I going to do? We need to get Oblivion down to four? or something? No, wait. No, not that. 
How many instances are we at? This is the second blitz, so we're at one. We're gonna have research grants, so that's two. So Oblivion's at 114. Like, we just basically need to get, like, I think, yeah, Oblivion is more than twice Aeon Master's hit points, so it's not, we don't have to worry about Aeon Master, we just have to take out Oblivion. So this is the third blitz. So we are gonna have three instances with Research Grants. That's the fourth blitz. So four, he's at 74. Five. Puts him at 54! Six. Puts him at 34. Seven puts him at 14. So we just need one more. Well, that was a fun turn. Oh yeah, Primordial Boon. So actually, I probably could have done one less. Oh no! I could just keep. Oh no, he's gonna do it once, right? It doesn't even matter. But I'll just. I have nothing else to hit. I could take out Haka, as John said, but. Nah. That did remove a Devastation token there, but <laughs> I will accept that. So Cold War has done more damage than Cold War has ever done in the history of Sentinels. <laughs> I have become the villain. You either die a hero or live long enough to see you become the villain. Apparently we had too many damages. Probably because of the plus one that I didn't account for. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. E two brute. <laughs> oh my god! I forgot about that. Oh, this is so satisfying. <laughs> oh man, that was good. Oh boy. And Wraith could protect Tachyon. So we're moving to the first battle zone for sure. We don't really have the time to do anything anymore. <laughs> It's the Oblivion Show! Do we have a power use? You may use a power. So I could use base power and Mecha Knight if I did that. I don't have damage reduction. Does he have damage reduction? I think he does. Somewhere. Maybe, maybe not. Oh no, he does. It's like literally the first card. Yeah.
So that's card draw, hit point regain, reveal oblivion cards or scion cards. That's a really smart plan. Um, there is zero environment cards in play. So if there are zero environment cards play, stand up and do a fucking dance! Do, 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 do. <laughs> that doesn't seem too exciting, no. I could have Tachyon play a card, but... I mean, Accelerated Assault's pretty sexy. I don't think we're really searching for any more here. I mean, like, Orchestrate the Void would be nice, but I think we're now just focused on having Tachyon take out Oblivion. In some capacity, I guess. Just refill Tachyon's trash for next turn. I guess I could do that. They could discard a burst to draw two cards. Yeah, Bloodstone's not gonna work with Rise being invincible. We have the Mecha Knight. Citizen Storm's just the distraction and is gonna destroy something and doesn't do anything well either. She's likely to get killed by Oblivion card plays. Are you sure? Are you sure about that, Claus? <laughs> Good play, card. But you don't have card draw there, so it's going to be discard. And I am kind of wanting to play Sucker Punch on Oblivion, but we'll see. Does sanction do? That's cool. So that's plus one, minus one, and redirection. Or not even redirection, it's prevention. Damage. And we're going to select Tachyon here. Fifteen damage is okay. Oh. Well, that's a means of bypassing damage immunity, huh? Oh, but you moved the battle zone too! That was your first mistake! I could save- no, Mer- well, actually, no, I no. Meh. So Mirror's not a target anymore, right? Right, good. Yeah, Oblivion was really scared of Tachyon, so he just left. <laughs> oh no, my arch nemesis Tachyon is here! I'm just gonna head over to my favorite place in the world, Meridian Refuge. Well, if Tachyon's not here, I kind of just want to move to the first battle zone. Do you do damage? He, deal he does deal damage. He moves to the battle zone with the most hero targets. If I stay in this battle zone, Oblivion plays a card. But I could use like Chekhov's hairdryer or something.
Uh, if I move to the other battle zone, he's for sure gonna move to the first battle zone. He's gonna play a card that could deal damage. He'll do an effect that might deal damage. That's 11 damage to Tachyon, plus whatever he plays, and that could take out Tachyon. Or we move to the first battle zone and give Tachyon two card draws. And we could hit Sanction. If I kill Sanction, we get Ground Pound back. We do. Okay. Hi, Citizen Storm. How are you doing? <laughs> no? No? Just no? We gotta destroy Blood Sword Exhibition? <laughs> Uh, that hits Rive, who could prevent it? <laughs> but no, right? Just no. Shuffle. Get rid of that shit. Can I deal enough damage here? That takes out our attacking. <laughs> That would be two, that would be six, that's eight, that is at ten, that doesn't work. That does three, but three, six is nine. Five is four, two, two. Okay, that works. High risk behavior. <laughs> I was going, I was going to do it, but I just didn't want to pull the trigger, even though it was safe. Oh, but you gotta, you gotta move to the other battle zone, dude. You gotta move to the other battle zone. Haka, stop being a brave soul. You gotta make a strategic retreat, a, a tactical retreat. That's the word. Do I care about this one? No. <laughs> I guess Cold War is a consideration, huh? That's only two. I don't care about two. No, no scions are in play, so there's no scion play phase. Nice. All right, that's light speed and hypersonic, of course. That's going to be sure. Just both those, both those cards. That sounds good to me. Setback. Arataki. And which was the power one again? <laughs> Turn of events. <laughs> And then Haka is going to be Ground Pound and Ground Pound. Yeah, we can get it in play right now, which saves our team. If 
Fewer than three keywords. Haka, no, stop it. Bad Haka. Hello, Battalion Gunner. Hello, Leviathan. Man, these Scion turns are so short. Move the countdown, one. He moved battle zones, which added a devastation token. Oh no! Whatever shall I do? <laughs> uh, I can't use pushing the limits, by the way. I can't deal myself damage now. Like, I literally can't deal myself damage because of Riot. So I only have two card plays. Uh, well, three card plays. Well, four card plays. I think just this plus one is worth it by itself, right? I think the power would be 15 damage if it's Mecha Knight, right? But I'm pretty sure we're getting enough plus ones with Mejor Legato for that to be better. I mean, we don't have that many bursts in the trash, though, but... I think that's still better to get Mejor Legato. Oh, but I'm gonna discard something here. I don't think Sucker Punch is happening. You think I'm overkilling this turn? <laughs> hmm... Alright, Fleet of Foot. Beautiful. Get another card play. It's gonna be Mejor Legato. We don't need Hypersonic. We do have Ground Pound. This is a measly five damage. Whereas this gets more bursts in my trash and allows me to repeat my power more often. So I guess it's going to be Accelerated Assault. I mean, like, 11 damage versus 15 damage. What do you think does more damage? But, loot, it's 11 damage. Yeah, that's overkill. We're done. That was a fun Oblivion fight. We're actually finishing before 9. I'm very glad that Burst Tachyon has worked, or Blitz Tachyon has worked. I know that some people, when they first looked at this power, they're like, I don't understand this power. It's literally light speed barrage, but one damage at a time. Why would that at all be worth it? And now we get Cold War's return. And that's it. GG. I got Breakthrough 2 out of 5, Anytime, Anyplace 10 out of 23. Cool. Uh, this one.
The sacrifices of heroes are not in vain. The last timelines will be remembered. You defeat Oblivion and save the Emerald Verts, as said by Tachyon. Cool. That worked. <laughs> uh, pretty shaky with all of a sudden environments getting destroyed all at once, but uh, that worked. And even if that were a Voss game, it would have worked. We managed to take out guys, so it was actually a victory from that point on. <laughs> all right. I think that's... I don't want to say it's the first Oblivion game, but I think it's the... One of the few Oblivion games where I didn't, like, completely forget everything that was happening and have to rewind because I didn't realize an effect was in play. Um, I rewinded a couple of times because I wanted to guarantee an effect happened, but I could have mathed that out if I had done it correctly the first time. But I didn't, like, make a mistake that made me have to rewind in order to save, and hero save a hero from getting incapped. It all works uh, basically according to plan, so I'm happy with that result. And you should be too. So, um, in the month of December, it's actually going to be a bit finicky doing Dolphins Dive because the Thursdays this month are Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. So, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing. Obviously, I can do the 10th and the 17th. And then next week, or not next week, but the subsequent weeks, I don't know. I might just move to Wednesday night or something, because Friday is an even worse day. You like that the sanctioned ground, ground pound play hit exactly right. You didn't math it, it just thought it was worth it. That's not what I said. What I said was there were some things I had to rewind for in order to guarantee that certain things happened. That wasn't one of them. But I did have to rewind once because Void Soul, or not Void Soul, Dark Mind stole the ongoing card that would have gotten Omni Unity in play. But then after the fact, I realized there was a there was a uh, path that would guarantee that I could do the thing I wanted to do. That was like two rounds, three rounds before that. You're just mentioning that as another thing. Okay, fine, John. I didn't math. I just thought it might be worth the try. I mean, I kind of felt that I had enough damage. It kind of overestimated my damage potential there, but. I like to wing it. I'm. <laughs> I like to assume that I can kind of grasp where the numbers are without having to explicitly calculate them, and I'd end up being wrong half the time, but when it does look good, then I look good. It's excellent. Um. Yeah. Uh, where are we going? Yeah, so the 23rd and the 30th might be Dolphin Dives then, is what's going to happen for that schedule. Uh, Mondays we have Luck with the Sheamus, Tuesdays we have Handelobber Live, Thursdays Dolphins Dive, except if we move it to Wednesday. Fridays is Dev Streams of the Sentinels Workshop, unless they move it to another day for Christmas Day and New Year's Day. Saturday is, I almost said Sentinel Saturdays, <laughs> Spirit Island Saturdays. And Sunday is Tales from the Archive. Five streams a week of Handelabra content. Really nice to be able to demo this content for you all and show you how things are supposed to work. Um, Sentinels of the Multiverse, Bottom of the Ninth, One Deck Dungeon, and Aeon's End are available on Steam, iOS, and Android devices. Spirit Island is on Steam and is being worked on for mobile devices, and I am kind of seeing the beta testing for that. I have not actually checked my ios device are you testing mobile devices john because i have a mobile device i do have an ipad that i could also do stuff on but i'm not a good beta tester because i tend to just like play one game and then forget about it but it's been something i've been meaning to bring up is hey i could do something um but yeah it went to mobile on tablets today oh i thought that was ongoing my bad. Uh, anyway, um, these are fun games. You should play them yourself. I'm sure there will be some holiday discounts for these games. The base games are pretty cheap, honestly. You'd play base Sentinels and have four villains, ten heroes, and four environments, and still have more than enough games to play forever. If you want to play with all the expansions, then it's just completely ridiculous and you'll never be able to finish all the games. 
but uh, the base game is relatively cheap. One deck dungeon is cheap. I don't know if bottom of the ninth is still free. I know it went free in Mar in March when um, when quarantining started for the pandemic, but bottom of the ninth is a fun game. I'm sure I've not actually played it. Aeon's End and Spirit Island are obviously really great, fun games to play. Check us out on Saturday for some Spirit Island Saturdays, and I'll actually be there this week. I took the last two weeks off, but I gotta, you know, make my presence known. Otherwise, Spirit Island Saturdays is going to be more of the John show, and I don't want that to happen. That's just bad. Even worse is if it becomes the Seamus show, because then it will be more of an Irish show. <laughs> Uh, anyway, it was a fun game. Uh, hopefully you learned something in this, something you can take away, such as Blitz Tachyon is really good when comboed with effects that go off powers, uh, and especially with, uh, with the Oblivion Shard, but um, I'm sure there might be some other things you picked up from that game. Uh, next week, we'll play something different. Probably one deck dungeon. Maybe we'll do our own Spirit Island game. Um... Maybe Aeon's End, or maybe I'll just play more Sentinels. I used to be all Sentinels all the time, and now I'm basically down to just playing Oblivion once a month. Maybe I need to, s to turn back into a Sentinels player. I don't know. But thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good night, and I'll see you next week on Thursday for Dolphin's Dive, or Saturday for Spirit Island Saturdays. Good night.